So today we are installing Python in Kali Linux again. This is for someone who is on to updating their Python but cannot do it. So this is how to do it. First we update our system. Uh, by update I mean we update the repositories that we need. Uh, because by default Python does come with, sorry, by default Kali Linux does come with Python. But after the update is done, uh, then what you have to do is check what Python version you are using. Uh, because if I'm correct, uh, Kali Linux is based off of Debian, and Debian is usually a little bit late on updates, uh, but you can get them manually, but uh, automatically it's a little bit late. So, to get the latest version of Python, you have to run a different command because uh, usually you would run a sudo app uh, install Python, but for in this case, you need to specify the version which you want to install. So I'll go there, but first let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see what commands I'm typing. And the uh, first thing you have to note is that I, I have Python installed, but I have my Kali Linux does come with Python, uh, just different versions of it. So uh, Python has this feature where you can have multiple versions and use all of them all together and they will like actually use different versions for different things in python case uh, there sorry in Kali Linux there are uh, dependencies that depend on older versions of python and for this particular thing we are actually updating it and as i said you need to specify the version so you can see i'm specifying that uh, he ha we have to install python 3.11 because that is the latest version uh, currently and if I check the version so as you can see it's Python 3.10.8 the uh, uh, current version that is installed but we want to get uh, 3.11 because that's all the hype right now um, and this is just to clarify that well in fact I do not have Python 3.11 installed in any other method but uh, I think there is a source build method where you can get the source and build it from there but that's a little bit complicated but uh, the Debian repository already has this so you can just type it in and it will actually just get the packages you need and it will just install like any normal package but don't be happy yet and don't just click off the video right now thinking it's all done because even if you install python 3.11 it will not be the default python that the system will use because uh, i'll show you that so after we install it uh, you can see that uh, uh, there was something i wanted to show but i forgot so as you can see here the installation is going on and this part is fairly simple like you would install this like you would install any other like any other package like it installs normally so you do not have to worry too much about that but the tricky part comes after the installation because after it is installed it won't be the default <laughs> like as i said python can work with multiple versions at a time so you this system is actually configured to run with python 3.10.8 and you can just check the python version as you can see i'm doing here so as you can see, though I already installed Python 3.11, and uh, none of it is actually using it as default. So we have to specify or update the alternatives where Python, it's, uh, if, we, if we type Python, it will by default run Python 3.11. Now this may seem a little bit complicated, but just bear with me and just understand that by default, you cannot like although you have the latest version it will not necessarily use the latest version so i just made <laughs> zoomed out a bit so we can see what i mean by that and here you can see i am just this is the command that you need to update alternatives so as the command suggests here is what happening so I'm saying that update the alternatives and install then what you have to do is specify the 
Python command directory. So this is the uh, thing that the terminal runs when whenever you type Python or Python 3 and uh, as you can see I'm saying Python 3 that means the Python 3 it, this is the default Python just get that in your head and this is specifying that this is the command that we run whenever we say Python 3 like whenever we run something in Python now it may seem a little bit complicated and I may not be able to explain it fully but this just works and I'm, I told you I'm a little bit sick so my head is not straight so as you can see this is the command where uh, we can just do this but here uh, I don't know why but uh, I actually think that you need to specify the older version first so this is the default one so nothing breaks and then we just have to change this to 11 and type and do two here so we have both of them and we do not want to uninstall any of it and as you can see it's saying using this as in auto mode and we will show you what that means so now we can check what is actually the default so what is the python 3 command pulling whenever we are saying python 3 and again if this seems a little bit complicated just copy the commands or you can google the commands it will work and we just have to change this and type config so this will show the configuration of this python 3 command so where it's going what it's doing this will just show that and as you can see this is selected so now the python 3.11 is the default one that is being run the 3.11 and we can just select zero and again by default it is zero but you just specify this just in case and just see where that version is located and the reason we did that twice is that uh, we just specified both of them and I don't think you have to do it but oh well I just did it just in case then uh, this is actually I think what you have to do is fairly simple it just commands and there we go now now if we type python 3 the python version as you can see it says python 3.11.0 plus that means we are running the latest version of python and the same for the both of this command and if this video felt less informative then i'm actually sorry i told you i'm a little bit sick so I hope this video helps you and if it does leave a like and subscribe and that's it bye